Hello, hey, welcome back. I'm doing this outside now just to finish it off. Um, so far, I got that. I've still got these to finish. I finished yesterday's video off early because we reached like 12 minutes or something like that, and I thought people won't want to watch a 12 minute long video. So today I'll finish the part two. All I've got to do is that now. I'll do a few on camera. Obviously I'm getting filmed quicker now because I got used to the fastest way to do it. See big ones like this. Let's go for them all, like that. Grab normal pliers, hold them and just pull. Don't bend them because the pins go all the way back. And then you've got those nice fully plated pins. I've made sure there's a variety of um, the different connectors. So I don't just have the real good ones. Because I want this to be an average yield, what you would expect. So only a few of these fully plate ones. I know most of the ones I showed in cameras fully plate, but most of them aren't. Nearly all of them are just the half plated average connectors you'd expect. But I've been saving the good ones on camera just because they're harder to uh, take apart because you've got to use the hammer and all. So I thought if I could show the harder ones on camera it'd be better so people know what to do. I changed my box and if you noticed, completely changed how I've done it. Just so it lasts longer because it was all worn out. Some pins stayed in there. Remember the fully plate pins, you got to cut in half. If you haven't watched part one, I'd definitely go to part one and watch it before this, just so you know what's going on. Pins don't want to seem to come out of this. As you can see, it's real simple. No easier way to do it, I don't think. Don't burn the uh, plastic to get to them because the gold, a lot of the gold plating will fall off because the metal underneath will kind of like rust in a way, and the gold plating will fall off. And when you wash the plastic off, the gold plating will be washed off with it. A lot of the gold plating, you'll still get gold, but. I don't know how much it will affect the yield, but I know it will affect it. The yellow ones in a minute. The black ones seem to be a bit easier. The yellow ones do seem to almost always be fully plated. I don't know if it's, it's going to be good plated though. They might be fully plated, but rubbish. And real thin, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a future video idea I can show. Whilst waiting for part three, which would be the uh, the filtering from acid and things like that, we'll uh, do a part one and two the same as this with other types of pins. So we know yields from more. Know what to save, what to save, and things like that. Simple today. These ones have like a plastic normally, and I found it easier to get all the pins at the same time. If they have the plastic cap, what comes off? If not, you do one at a time. But the plastic cap just comes off like that. And then now the plastic cap's off, they're all on show. And you can literally just pull them like that. And that's it done. 
the ones which aren't on show, like that one, just do one at a time, and then they come off. Then, it's how simple it is. And then obviously the ones which have uh, no pins on show, they normally have a little line going across so you can just hammer it and that piece comes out. Like I said, some pins are all, only a small area is plated, I add some which are just tips plated. But they all go in together. These, uh, these you can process a different way and then you don't have to worry about cutting them up. I personally want to stick them all together for the sake of this video and stick them in uh, copper chloride. So all I do is I put a line across of these that easily breaks and just break them up, break them into little pieces and then make sure even if they're small make sure you cut them in half at least if you're sticking them in copper chloride. So then uh, the acid can get to the base metal. If you just stick them in as they are, they won't get to the base metal and it just stay like that. And then now I've cut them close to that, you can just put them out, you don't need to worry about cutting them because they've been, they got the cut in the top already. Then when you pull them out, they should only be quite short still. The easiest way I found. Part three will take about a month to a month and a half. In this weather, maybe even less than a month actually. Because it's been quite warm. Bee flew in my face. <laughs> Just simple just to cut them up with side cutters if you do it whilst you're going along they don't add up it's not too bad can't even pick them up But anyway, that's about all the different ways you can do them. These little ones. I don't even know if you can see these on camera. I'm probably just wasting my time by showing you this. But you see there's a little line in there. And the pins you can't really get to. So you do that the same way as you do with the uh, other ones with the chisel. Put it on the gap. Hit with a hammer. Top of the plastic will break off. And then you'll get this part. This part's only little and only half plated. If it's fully plated, you just pluck them out. If they're half plated, go to the bit which isn't plated. With your side cutters. Just squeeze. So you get the pins. And put them into your little pot. You can throw the rest. These ones are similar. Again, just the chisel on the little crack. And then they're only half plated again, so cut them with the side cutters. That's that done. Anyway, it's quite simple. Obviously, remember always with the fully plate, cut them in half, unless you plate process in another way. If they're half plated like that, you can just pull them out, put them straight into the pot. Anyway, it's taken me about an hour to to do two thirds of it, so it'll take about an hour and a half to finish taking the pins out. It took me an hour to remove the pins from the board, and it took me almost half an hour to remove the metal. So that's three hours in total. The acid shouldn't take long at all, so hopefully you can get a gram of gold or so, and if we can, that's uh, worth the time, definitely. These pins are pretty decent, so worth the time. They're going to be worth the time to process.
what I've heard they're pretty decent anyway, I've never actually processed them on their own. As you can see the pile adds up fast. I'll come back once I've removed all the pins. Finished. Got some nice pins in there, a lot of them. So we're now uh, away and see what we got from one kilo of the connectors. That's not all of the plastic, there were two boxes I've already thrown one away. Anyway, I'll pull the pins into there. So we've got 69.5 grams. So um, next we'll just need the acid. You'll only need about 300 mils of uh, copper chloride for this. Because I didn't really have much copper chloride, because it's all in use at the moment, I'm sure I still, uh, I'll just mix some hydrochloric acid with copper chloride and should be fine. So the acid has been all poured, uh, part 3 will be when I'm filling it out this time next month. Uh, so I'll come back with that video next month and I'll do more videos in the meantime. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. I'm really close to 300 subscribers, getting quite excited. Um, thanks to everyone who has subscribed lately. Anyway, thanks, bye bye.